Hi, welcome. In this session, let us look into markers in PyTest. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So markers are basically kind of grouping your test or marking your test and you can separately run those group or the mark test separately using minus M option in PyTest. And uh, a test can have multiple markers and the same marker can again be used on multiple tests. So I have already created a test file or a module. Let us go to the test file. So before looking into the markers, we have created some test functions in here. We will mark this test and see how it behaves. So let us go ahead and add some markers. So for adding a marker, let us import PyTest and let us add a marker here. For adding a marker, we need to add PyTest.com mark dot and then what should be name you want to set it so for this so let for example let me set it to sanity so so the my first test whenever i run pi test minus m sanity and then only this test should run no other test in this whole whole project or if i specify only the file on in this whole file should run only the ones which i mark as sanity should run that's the way of working for these markers so let me go ahead and add some more of this into say let's let me add it into this one and uh, we can also add in this one and as i was saying we can also add two markers so this is a string test so now we have three markers here or oh, string 01 we have string 02 and then we have uh, string slice which is having two markers sanity and string so let us go ahead and try to run this test and we come to the terminal and then we have pi test minus v minus m we say we want to run only the sanity ones then we can run like this sanity and this is going to run only the ones which are marked as sanity so let us run this okay so there are some warnings we will talk about it a little bit later but uh, let us look into what pytest what pytest has done so it has run this string 01 02 and a string slice wherever i have marked as sanity it has run all the three tests which are marked as sanity so that's how actually we run with the markers in pytest so you don't need to specify the file name if you just provide the markers and it's kind of grouping the test and you are, we are just trying to run this and this is especially helpful in case you want to run certain set of tests you have marked as sanity test or api test or smoke test or system test you can mark whatever you like and then you can actually run them so the next thing which we can look into is the markers support and or not operators so for example i am running the sanity test cases and what i will do is i will and not str so this if i am giving this option sanity and this is going to run all the sanity but not the str one so this test should not run so let us try that and you see here only two tests ran here we should run only string str01 and str02 but not this str test you can actually do the same thing here without just providing and you can just provide here not sanity but what this is going to do is this is going to run my all the tests in all these folders so let me do like this let me provide let me provide the file name test marker so that it will look only in this file by test topics and test underscore markers and let's see that so str03 ran str split ran str join join ran so it did not run all the tests which are marked as sanity so that means slice this one is marked as sanity there are two markers here 03 ran 0102 did not run and the split ran and of course the join ran so the join ran we are not testing anything we are just giving a pass here so that's why this also ran okay now let us see an or operation so we have m and then we can do is sanity and str so now what do you think this is going to do 
since this is an AND operation, this is going to run only this single task which is having sanity as well as str. Let us try to run this. And you see only one test. And you see all the proper information here 20 deselected. And then, of course, the warnings here we'll look into. So, only this one ran if you provide an AND operation. So, and if we provide a or operation then it's going to select everything i don't have anything else okay let me do one thing let me add this one also for this str so this is going to select everything what is either if it is a sanity or it is a string only those tests it's supposed to run and you can see that now the split string split also ran slice of course will run it as both sanity and string and then 0 1 and 0 2 okay that's how we mark the test and there are a couple of uh, more points in the markers that we want to understand. The first one is you can define the markers in the module level. So for that we need to define the pytest mark and we need to specify this module what are the markers for this module and we have to provide the same kind of definition here say for example we will define this as smoke we will define two markers as in the module level str test and uh, now if we try to run from here with smoke so this is going to run this file only this module only it is going to run all the tests in this file it is going to run and let us see that six test six pass if we see here what are the tests that it ran all the strings 0 1 0 2 0 3 and then we have three other test slice split and join it has run all this whatever is there in this file so this is a good way of defining if you just want to run that file module instead of specifying the whole file path and all you can specify a mark you can specify this pytest mark and then you can run it using this command pytest minus m and then the mark marker okay that's all about the marker before we complete this uh, session let us look into this warning so pytest earlier was not so much restrictive earlier it was not throwing such errors but nowadays uh, probably uh, since last few releases it started to throw a warning if we do not define these markers in the config file what we can do is we can actually add a pytest config pytest.ini file pytest config file we have to define a pytest ini file in the root folder and we have to define all the pytest related configs in this file for now we will just define the markers here uh, there are a lot of other things which we can define in this config file but uh, just to stop these warnings what we need to do is we have to we have to define the markers that we are actually adding in in our test so we are adding smoke we are adding string test smoke we can give some message here for what uh, this is about smoke test and then what are the other markers we have sanity and sanity and sanity test and also we have string str and also we have st str test we have four markers defined I have defined a description for two of them but I have left it for the other two and now let us come back and run this test and let's see that six unknown markers sent it. okay so we are still getting the warnings so what we need to do is we need to move this pytest.ini in the root folder of the project we have defined it inside the pytest topics so what we can do is we can move this pytest.ini in the pytest automation folder and okay so now it is in the pytest automation folder and now let us run this test again okay so now we don't see the warnings so just take note of that we need to define the pytest ini folder in the root folder pytest uh, so in for our project it's the pytest dash automation and we need to define the pytest dot ini file and we need to put it in the home folder and we need to define the markers so that we don't get any warnings so that's about the markers we have also learned how to disable the warnings in pytest latest versions 5.4.3 for the markers hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching